The mayor of Kyiv says two people have been killed and another wounded in the latest Russian air attack on the Ukrainian capital. Vitaly Klitschko says several buildings were set on fire by falling debris from targets destroyed by air defences. Officials describe it as the most powerful attack on the city since the spring. The AFP news agency's cameras in Kyiv were rolling when the blast happened. While they don't capture, they didn't capture the missile itself, they did record the sound of the explosion. Have a listen. Well, our diplomatic correspondent Paul Adams is in Kyiv and he gave us this update on what happened there in the early hours of the morning. We had had a succession of air raid alerts for about two or three hours before that. Um, when the alerts come, they appear on your mobile phone and people can track uh, where things uh, are being fired from. And so the country as a whole was braced uh, for attacks. Then at around five o'clock in the morning, we heard several explosions as we headed down to our secure bunker uh, here in Kiev. Uh, and as we now know, uh, those were, uh, we think, all caused by intercepted uh, missiles or drones. This was a combined attack using the smaller uh, so-called kamikaze drones, but also some larger ballistic missiles. We don't quite know the exact composition. Uh, the Ukrainians say they shot them all down, but as a result of falling debris, two security workers in the city uh, were killed. Uh, there were other reports, and we're still getting those coming in from other parts of the country. Odessa, uh, we know that there were explosions heard there too. Zhotomir, to the west of Kiev, uh, also uh, was under uh, alert, uh, and also some parts in the north. So this was a, a widespread attack. Uh, rather reminiscent of some of the uh, widespread and combined drone and missile attacks that we saw particularly over last winter and a little unusual uh, at the moment. Meanwhile, Russia has reported Ukrainian drone attacks in six different regions with military cargo planes damaged at an airport in Peskov. The local governor said the military was repelling an attack. He uploaded video showing a large fire which, while an explosion could also be heard. All flights have since been cancelled as local officials investigate the scene. Peskov is more than 600 kilometres, or about 370 miles, away from Ukraine, close to the border with Estonia. But well, we also asked our correspondent in Kyiv, Paul Adams, what he knew about these attacks. Here's what he told us. This was a little bit before uh, the attacks here in Ukraine, just a few hours earlier. Uh, as you said in your introduction, Peskov is a long, long way from Ukrainian territory. It's right up against the Estonian border. Uh, and it does seem as though at least two, perhaps more uh, vast Ilyushin transport planes uh, were hit, um, damaged, possibly destroyed. We don't quite know yet. Uh, but that does seem to be a, a rather audacious attack. Uh, in keeping with uh, traditional policy here, the government in Kiev is saying nothing about that. Uh, they generally do not uh, make comments about uh, incidents across the border in Russia. They like to keep a, a certain degree of ambiguity about how these attacks were conducted and who was responsible. Uh, but it was one of several attacks, uh, some closer to uh, Ukraine. Uh, and also it seems as though at some point the, the airspace over one of Moscow's airports was closed. So there does seem to have been something of a concerted uh, Ukrainian or pro-Ukrainian uh, series of attacks in Russia overnight. Our correspondent in Kyiv, Paul Adams there.